Let's go ahead. Make peace with pregnancy. Nine days? She isn't going to be in labor for nine days. Can we still ask them to check for dilation? Because I'm... Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is a large needle. Oh, gosh. I could never. <gasps> is he going to sit? <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! Take a picture for the Twitters. Oh, fears. I finally got my first fear. I'm so happy. I thought my game was broken. But hello and welcome to the first, no. Welcome to the next episode of our Werewolf series. If you didn't catch the next ep last episode, the whole playlist is going to be linked in the description. So make you make uh, what? The whole playlist is going to be linked in the description. So make sure you check it out. We are back. And honestly, I kind of feel bad for all the things I've done. I was the one who, I, I bought the bush that caused all these issues. And now I feel bad because they, yes, we have a house now, but we don't have the income to pay our bills. But in the last episode, actually, this fantastic man, Father Winter, gave us an expensive gift because we are material girls. We don't accept trashy gifts, okay? It's not, if it's not Chanel, we don't want it. If it's not Gucci, we do not want it. So he actually gave us a bunch of good gifts. And now we're kind of on our feet, but like not completely on our feet because we have to cater for this child second of all they are not happy about it she's about to be in our third trimester in eight hours so i'm going to have to try to make them accept the baby but i don't think that's gonna happen because we are really close to the end of this pregnancy father winter's gone last time we did not have power so we couldn't get a job for lou and i think he's better suited for the comedian job so I'm going to actually get him his job right now. Luna is now in the second trimester and she'll schedule her next prenatal visit. Only one prenatal visit is needed per trimester. I think that's from the healthcare redox mod. So I'm going to get him the entertainer career. And we could say that he like performs. It's 9, 9 a.m. I thought it was going to be like a late job. Um, well, that's just disappointing, isn't it? But whatever, I'm going to get him the entertainer career and we're going to go down the comedian route because he's actually a natural born comedian. We we're just going to say that he performs in the bar for the, what are they called? Patrons, customers, whatever. But that's the storyline. He's going to be performing at the bar. But right now he's extremely dirty. So why don't you take a bath? Robbie, you can, you can go actually. I'm actually quite upset. Like, when we came to Moodwood Mill, the Wild Fangs were promising us, you know, they were like, Wild Fangs are a scrappy, free-spirited group, but they are rules, you know. But it really contradicts what they said in the first few bits of the series. They said they are free-spirited, you know, just be yourself, be proud that you're a werewolf. And then they're like, yeah, contribute to the pack and help our pack mates and expand and explore and improve yourself and everything. They are selling what they are not giving. Does that make sense? I don't think that made sense. But they are not doing what they said. Okay, he's going hunting. I'm gonna let them do what they do best. Let's actually sell this Christmas tree because we need the money. Ooh. Would Luna like to know the gender of her baby? Do we want to know? I kind of like surprises, so I'm gonna say no. We are back from the doctors. Um, of guy visit results. Baby and Luna both are looking great. Just keep doing what she's doing. So they said baby. I'm not sure if that's just one. But let's get up because I have actually replaced the bathtub because it wasn't doing much. Let's take a bath. The hygiene goes up so fast. Is this like an only werewolves thing? I'm not sure. He doesn't like sleeping at night. He prefers sleeping in the morning which i guess is fine if there is no water what are you doing there is absolutely no water in there well you do you you do you let's get you on some scavenging because i want to finish the whole artifact thing and this whole pack situation about the pack probation is getting quite annoying so i'm gonna look for a reason why lou is going to leave the pack maybe after the, they have the child he kind of realizes that he has to focus on being parents and being part of the pack is not really much to his likings anymore and he's going to leave the pack after you know the whole situation is gone we found a tame cow plant skull 
Ooh, I think we don't have that yet. Yes, we don't have that. So let's add it into our collection. We have the jaw. We have the three wolves. I don't know how many pieces we need, but we are slowly building our collection. The engravings on the relic are encrypted with strange symbols, and we need a Luna Epiphany. So what I want to do, I want to get a bookshelf so we can do a bit of reading and get ourselves a Luna Epiphany. I've gotten a bookshelf. It's the new werewolves bookshelf, and it kind of makes for like a world virus situation. I think that looks really good and he's still upset babes daytime is for sleeping nighttime is the wolf's time why don't you try to calm down her sadness is going up like way too much but your hygiene is fine so why don't we actually watch a movie let's watch some simda and we can have some chats about the baby Ooh, hold on looming anxiety from fear of unfulfilled dreams that anxious feeling looms over lou as he discovers something new about himself a fear that wasn't there before growing inside ready to overcome Lou into paralysis at any moment. So he has a fear of unfulfilled dreams. Lou feels unfulfilled and dissatisfied with how life is going. Lou will occasionally become upset with his life direction. Babes, come and sit. What is this man's issue? Come and sit down. This is not going well. He just decided to go to bed. She's talking to him and he's sleeping. She's asking him to accompany her for the childbirth. I'm going to complain about my problems. Ooh, I will do anything. That's so sweet. I'm going to try some of the pregnancy options with her and see what her reaction is. Go to counseling for unwanted pregnancy. And we have money, so it is 5 a.m. So let's do that. Forget about Simda, babes. Forget about Simda. But I've gotten her to go to early parenthood classes. And while she's out, babes, we have had crab lies for way too long. Okay, I'm just going to give you a little nap before we have to go out and buy some crab lice powder this session didn't help luna feel understood or feel better about the situation she didn't find the um, counseling helpful so maybe we try something else we have a lot more options that we can try we can go for an early parented class we can go to birth class maybe early parented class let's go for early parented class and babes it is enough get up you're going for early parented class with your girlfriend can i make him go for early parenthood classes yes he can okay no i can't actually so we will do what we said let's get you to the wonderful store we can now take family leave but we are now in our third trimester and she is tense unwanted pregnancy no going back well this pregnancy will be over soon it's much too late to consider stopping it luna has to go through with it now i was reading something but fine Luna has to go through with it now and who knows how she will make it work. She will have to somehow because a baby is coming for sure. So she's having her early parented classes and he's going to buy some powder. He's furious by the way. But let's get... That is expensive. Oh my gosh. Let's get two packs of the shampoo luna is close to our third trimester and we are still not even close to getting over it and getting to accept it so we have to try oh she's furious but we have to try to do that and they're doing this conservation i'm i'm going to have to turn that off because i'm not interested we already went for a parented class and she said that it didn't really help out so let's go for more counseling and let's see what we can do with him to make him more accepting wait hold on hold on hold on I think if I make him do the interaction with her, then they go together. So let's try that. Because I feel like he will be the one making the moves, you know. Okay, they're going. Look at them both angrily walking to parented classes. We love to see it. And our fridge has been spoiled for like how long? But we don't really care because we don't really use it, do we? A few moments later. We are back. And for Lou, counseling was actually helpful. It was good to discuss... Babes, I was talking. It was good to... Wow, they were like, no, but pause. I actually sent them on early parented classes, but to him, it was helpful enough. It was good to discuss feelings about this with a professional, but she had the mood level. I got him to cheer her up and now they're going for the early parented classes. So maybe this will help. Ooh, Luna is now ready to try to make peace with her pregnancy if she feels so inclined. He still hasn't, he's still not ready to make peace with the pregnancy. Maybe he should go buy something for the baby while I'm gonna get her. Let's go ahead. Make peace with pregnancy. There she goes made peace things won't be easy but luna has decided that she can get through this and make the best of the situation for herself and everyone else involved and she's going to give birth in question mark question mark question mark and ashley thought he would actually make peace with the pregnancy before her but it seems to have taken 
the opposite direction but i also have the realistic childbirth mod and basically it's just what it says the it's actually realistic childbirth so we can call the obstetrician of the obstetrician what obstetrician babes i told you to call the obstetrician call the obstetrician okay birthing options choosing the right birth method for you and your baby can be a daunting task there are so many different options it can be easy to get lost in the medical jargon jar jargon jargon and confused by the countless delivery practices which method are you considering now i'm going to see natural delivery because he has a whole cool cute animation and he can get involved which is really cute so i'm gonna go with natural delivery that's the whole cute animation they give the child to you which i really want to see so no not see other options no choose this one so we are having a baby we have 911 we have no money whatsoever babes do you have work you have work in 70 hours i think we need an alternate way of getting money in this household and nothing is coming to mind right now i'm gonna try to think of what we can do what can we do to get money in the sims um i mean we've already started gardening but that's not working out so well okay let's leave that aside but i still want to try to make him make peace with the pregnancy maybe since she's now accepted it maybe she can talk to him about it let me see the options we have complain about back pain let's do a bit of complaining since she's very tense invite to feel the baby maybe that's gonna make him more warm to the idea of having a child tell him that he fathered his child Ooh. oh she's going to work babes you are in your third trimester you're not meant to be going to work but i guess we do need the money i want to unlock one of the dormant abilities which is the lunar epiphany which means we're going to be able to read the ancient werewolf writings on books and on those like figurines we got we just basically have to read a bunch of the werewolf literature stuff i heard they're so hard to find so i will be right back i think that's all we need so let's get to reading immediately let's start with beyond big and bad i'm sorry i just have to show you this this is too funny you know the new high school years pack the principal of cooperdale was walking by i noticed that she had a bump and i was like you know let's just check who she has this child with and her name is actually changed to maybell so She's probably married up by MCC, as is normal. So she's married to Michael Bell, and she has two kids already. But then you go over to MC Pregnancy, and she's pregnant with three boys with another man. She's still married to Michael Bell, by the way. She. That is just. Babes. Seeing this, we're gonna be like, things are worse for other people, no. We just have to accept it. Because look at her in the background, just walking by with her three children in that large stomach of hers. And she looks like she's in her third trimester. She's about to pop any moment now. Hopefully we have only one child, actually. I haven't checked through MCC. I want everything to be a surprise, but hopefully we have one child. I'm hoping so. She's actually coming to our house. Maybe she wants to give us a talk. She's a therapist. She's like, she wants to see Luna. Babes, Luna isn't around. Did you guys meet in like early parented class? Why don't we invite her in? We're kind of in the middle of a read, but you know, whatever. Hey, May. How's the school going? And she's like, it's going terrible, actually. And I forgot you still have crab lice, babes. But you're gonna need a shower for that. And we need to spend that money on a nursery. So, no. Why are all our lights off? The stupid conservation... But do we actually invest in the crab lice treatment? I think we do. Why are all the pregnant ladies coming to our house? She's pregnant. With two... Everyone's having multiple kids. Is this a sign that we're gonna have multiple kids? I mean, we're wolves, so it's probably likely. Take a wild shower. Then apply your medicines. No more itching, Luna. Lou, I keep calling him Luna, I don't know why. Lou Howell used the light clean shampoo and repelled all the crabby looking bugs living around his genitalia. Good for you, babes. No bad surprise. Ooh. Lou's partner says Lou is the father of their child. Whether wanting children or not, in an exclusive relationship, it's still comforted to know that at least your partner's child is also yours. So he's still quite uncomfortable about having the child, but he's at least happy that the child is his. All the pregnant... Ooh, power is now back. Great, we love to see it. Let's read more of our werewolf books. We have a lot, but we are not done reading the Beyond Big and Bad. And he has a few aspiration points. So I'm gonna get the fast reader. 
where is it the speed reader it's a thousand wow baby i don't recommend using that toilet you're gonna get crab lice i'm sorry but it's probably already done and she's still at work so maybe we're, we are gonna have this baby on a full moon luna is back from work and of course she swiped an object while she was at work there might be more if he gives in another read let's read that again then the impending full moon Ooh, is the full moon tonight she has a new fear luna is questioning if there's a future with her career luna's job performance will suffer and she will return from work sad so i guess we need to start working on getting a promotion then are you are you actually going to sleep baby read that read it five thousand times Luna is now a veteran wolf. She has experienced most of what wealth life has to offer, but there's always room to learn. This sim has a new temperament that affects how she navigates the world and what causes Fury to bubble over. Be sure to check out the new abilities too. She's also enraged, so she's about... That was fast. Babes, go outside. Don't mess up my furniture. So, Luna's new temperament is frisky. Something has awoken within this sim. Frisky werewolves can sometimes get a little hot under the collar when their beast within is looking for some company. Fury gains increase while feeling flirty. As for him, I've been trying to get him to read a bunch of books. But he's not he's not that good at reading, honestly. But I'm still gonna keep trying because I want him to unlock the um, Luna Epiphany. Wait, what? Rory Oklo has requested that Luna report to her for some disciplinary action. It's best not to keep her waiting. I'm honestly tired of the wild fangs like what the we are having a full-on baby and you're calling us for discipline and she just destroyed the tv babes go down and contain your rampage thank you very much that is much more reason for us to take over from you we are having a full-on child and you can't even act like you don't know because you were here for christmas and you are telling us that we need to come to you for disciplinary actions that's that's rubbish but he has actually unlocked luna epiphany luna can start to decipher the strange markings found in the margins of werewolf books what new knowledge is out there waiting to be discovered or oh, we now understand the werewolf markings so let's decipher some of the engravings and let's see what secrets are there to be revealed he has his notebook out he's taking notes let's leave him to it he's still tense and he still hasn't accepted the pregnancy I'm not sure how soon this baby is coming, but we will have to still try. That's long. Uh, I can't read that. <clears throat> the wolf familiar has been named and grieved on its face, Renga. Do you call from your werewolf studies that this was the wolf familiar of Yina... Yina Kai... What the... Yina Kia... What the... Yina Kia... What the... Okay, so that's Renga. I'm gonna get him to do much more deciphering because that is actually really cool. Greg, ooh, oh gosh, oh gosh, it's happening. That's it. The baby is getting born. But we're, we're, <laughs> we're on a rampage. How is this supposed to work? Pre-parental panic. Wu and Luce has work in an hour. Babes, that is not as important as this. We're gonna have the baby in hospital join with Lou. Let's go. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Welcome to the clinic. Feel free to make yourself comfortable and ask one of your obstetricians if you need anything. You can try doing some labor inducing activities such as taking a walk or doing exercise on a birthing ball. You will go into active labor once you are 10 centimeters dilated. So I've actually tried this mod before but there are some new updates. So we need a birthing ball or we have to take a walk. So I'm actually going to try this enable fear build. I do not actually know the cheats. Is that the cheats? Oh, it is. Uh, oh, I never thought I knew that actually. Let's go ahead and exercise. Oh, we can ask Lou for a back massage. Let's definitely do that. He is hungry, so they should have a cafeteria around here. Let's get some foodies. Ooh, is that our <gasps> our water broke luna's water just broke and a huge amount of water came out for a second luna thought she had peed herself nine days she isn't going to be in labor for nine days <laughs> and she still has itching from the crab lies because we didn't get around to getting her her treatment but we do have an ability point let's just let's just get that out of the way we are veterans now we can do a vicious howl hunting party Ooh, that sounds great but i think this is the coolest among all of this in this new tier so i'm gonna go for that 
Okay, I really want to see this animation. Is Luke coming over? Yes, he is. Babes, where are you going? <laughs> You're not going to work. Oh my gosh, she was actually going to work. Can you imagine this whole man? Are you going to make her walk all the way over here? That's cruel. That's cruel. Oh, that's cool. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see a bit of realism in The Sims 4. We just love to see it. 3,000 years later. We're having a little sleep because we have been exercising for how long? And we are only three centimeters dilated. This is going to take a really, really, really long time. At least Lou is having a great time. He's having a wolf nap. But let's do a bunch more exercises, like five more rounds. It's going to take so long. I'm actually really annoyed right now. Rory is requesting to, for us to report for... Do you know how hard it is to push human beings uh, or werewolves out of our pooch so i think we're ready for our epidurals ask for epidural not this man stealing from the hospital you know what we love to see it you know we love to see it let's sell that immediately okay she's going to give us our epidural oh my gosh that is a large needle oh gosh i could never that is a large needle that you're just stabbing up her back let's ask her to check our dilations so we can get this baby out of our bodies and finally done with it i honestly should have picked the c-section because this is going on this is going on and we are still not even close to oh god <laughs> oh god oh god oh gosh can you still exercise no you can't how am i supposed to fix this look at her with her wow that is a very pointy bump can we still ask them to check for dilation because i'm oh god oh gosh we don't have any um skills that can help us with that so i guess we're just gonna have to wait out the rampage or maybe we can buy them a werewolf containment cell that's kind of cheaty but i want to get this over with right now two thousand years later <gasps> We have been here for almost two days, but I think it is finally time. Babes, are we done? I don't know where you got that outfit from, but you know, it's kind of cute. Where's the, where's the obstetrician? Babes, are we ready? Please tell me we're 10 centimeters dilated because I am not going to do that again. Give birth. Thank you very much. She is done with this whole situation and she is ready to get over it. I'm not sure they are even going to consider having a child after this. And babes, I want you to be there. Come come here right now. <gasps> is he going to sit? <gasps> Ooh, take a picture for the Twitters. That is so cool. He's like giving her words of encouragement, you know. This is the sweetest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Come on, babes. Push it out. We have destroyed the whole hospital at this point. Let's just forget about the leaky faucet in the background. But we are giving... <gasps> it's a boy! Why did I scream? It's a boy. Now I'm actually going to go into the Googles. And I'm going to find out some wolfy themed names. For our baby names, I have found this... I don't know why there is a website for werewolf themed names. But that's what we're going for. We have Adolphus. We have Bardolph. We have Lowell. His name could be Lowell Howell because his father's name is Lou Howell. Rudy. <gasps> Rudy. I kind of like the name Rudy. We have to go Rudy, right? Rudy. So I'm going to name him Rudy. Hopefully it's just the one because I am not ready for more than one child. <laughs> So maybe one of the R names. We really liked Ralph. So maybe Ralph or Alcan. I love that. Lupus Fenrir. I don't know how to pronounce that, but we could just shorten it to Fen. So I'm gonna give him that. Fenrir. Fenrir. Fenrir Seymour. Do it. No! 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 <laughs> we have a girl. Oh gosh. We have more. You can tell that I'm about to cry because I know what it feels like raising more than one child in The Sims 4. I'm kind of thinking Otsana, honestly. Let's go Otsana. Let's just go Otsana. There we go. I give up. I give up. I'm done with The Sims 4. I am done. Zev. That's a cool name. Magnificent. Oh, that's cool. I'm giving him Zev. Hopefully that's all because I am not here for it. I am not here for more than four that's it that is it <gasps> cute she's bringing out the other ones where are the remaining two we left them in the cooch out with the third where's the last one 
<laughs> and he's instantly upset is that all we are done after two days we are finally done luna has given birth she should go back to the up guy in a few days for a postpartum checkup congratulations the doctor has prepared the birth test four times but it's time we go home let's go home i'm not going to press play but let's see where the children are Ooh, they're down here at least three of them are down here where's the last one is the last one in the containment cell he is <gasps> who is that who's the one in the containment cell we have to know that one is the fussy one it's rudy rudy is the fussy one i'm just going to move them upstairs and there it is the deafening noise of fuck i'm gonna leave you with that i'm gonna take out my headphones i'm gonna leave you with that noise but that is it for today um leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video that would be really nice i would really appreciate it and while you're in the clicking mode consider following my socials on screen or in the description and i will see you guys in the next video good damn bye <laughs>